that being used, you are able to take it off the turbo and just press it to the side like that. Now with that, you will have access to this little section of your wire harness right here. Very important. Start with the uh, throttle body first. on a bracket on a fork like that. You can well this one's a crank up. They move pretty easy. You will be able to pull them out and turn them upward where to say you can uh, disconnect them.
seven millimeter here, seven millimeter on the bottom. You can, you can get it. I will loosen the top and I will loosen the bottom. Get this 13 out. down the bottom I said to you before that it was a 12 millimeter 12 point it is a 10 millimeter 12 point once it's broken loose my you know you can it's a very soft now your bracket is loose alright now there's something that I want to specify or let you know. Besides that, this is your oil filter. You have to remove it. You don't have to drain the oil, but you have to remove this house. There is a bolt down here. Yeah. With this little lip piece here, trying to get to it, but there is a switch. That's directly right here where my finger is. Yeah. So your best bet is to remove this housing. You will save yourself a lot of headache. Okay. Let's try to see what we can do where this top end is. Yeah. 
Don't pull away from the car. The reason why is this guy over here. Tilt him upwards. Yeah. Now, there is a wire connected to the bracket on the bottom and here. There he is. Now, to be honest, probably oh, need it. This thing stabilized at the shoulder. This guy here is still on the bracket on the intake. You don't, you cannot get it when you are in here. So, come out with him first. Now, to be honest with you, this thing is a real, I don't know what to say. It's a, uh, uh, it has one of them weird old clips on there. this side so this is uh for the front wheel drive vehicles yes uh, here is our other portion of our holes we're gonna have to remove it Everything that you need is right here, right now. Now, you're gonna have to take off the rest of these hoses um, piece by piece. I will start with the ones in better and how to see them. You have to unclamp them first. Yes. This is one. Now, this clamp doesn't come on. This holds. Yes, it's clamped. You will be able to get to. And your lower radiator holes, you will be able to get to that clamp as well. Okay. Now, the Very funny. 
just know that if it comes unclipped, we're pulling it out. You pull the whole thing out. Try not to lose it. Okay. bolts on the bottom. There's two bolts on the bottom. Yeah, we're going to have to go back up one more time. Yeah, because uh, the easiest access to those bolts will be from the bottom. I'll show you that. Remember I said to you that uh, the other side of the intake, the cooler, I'm sorry, the cooler, now it has a sensor on here, you're going to need to unplug it, alright, real quick. Now right behind the sensor, just tuck the wire up top there, there is another bolt. They don't come out. Maybe a seven millimeter. Now this guy separates. Yeah, we could just get him. There you go. This guy separates him, and you're gonna wanna do it because with him. In your way, pull him down, press him to the back here like that. Now you are able to access your two bolts. Right up there, your two bolts, and now you will have access to this clamp here to remove your lower radiator bolts. Also, there is a plug on the bottom of the water pump. Yeah, see him right up there. Right. Okay. Let's come on back down. Finish up. water pump is driven by a belt. Yeah. And this is the cover here. It uses T30, is it? Yes. A T30 bolt. One on the top. Very accessible. But if you run your hand along the bottom, you might find that there is another one that is not quite so accessible. But you are able to get a socket or I should say a T30 pivot. Audi man, Audi. Audi boats They're all the same. Now we have two guys on the bottom and I'm able to see them. Yes. Here. 
but if you look okay there is a marginal indentation in the pump itself that lets you know where the bottom bolts are you must keep in mind there is a wire harness on the back side of this water pump yeah also there is a quarter inch nipple that goes inside of the oil filter housing cooler be careful two things it sits on dial pins so just wiggle it. Don't try to bring it forward to you this way. Wiggle it, go into the driver's side to get that nipple out. Also remember that it sits on dial pins, so you're gonna wanna bring it off the dial pins. that wire harness I told you about so turn him upwards safely disconnect this thing it's in such a awkward spot 